Hi, I'm Stuart from SOB Leadworks and welcome to the next job. Let's go and have a look and see what it's all about. Okay, so here we are. We've got a nice, easy one today. Um, we've got a, uh, a porch. Well, it's basically it is a porch, but it's uh, quite a big one, to be honest. <laughs> um, so we've got this um, step flashing to run up both sides. Um, it's already been chased out before this was tiled, uh, but it does look like a couple of them are going to need to be extended. I mean, I can already see that one's definitely going to be short. Um, but what I think I'm going to do, rather than whizzing it out with a with a grinder, it's going to get loads of dust everywhere. I think I might see if I can just do that by hand. Um, hopefully, it is only these these bottom ones. The rest of it doesn't look too bad. Um, We'll see when we when we get the lead against that to see what it's like. Um, but it's definitely a lot nicer doing it this way round rather than tiling it first and then and then chasing out your joints and you're just going to cover all your tiles. Um, so this is a much nicer, cleaner way of doing it. Um, so yeah, we can see we've got a couple there that are possibly a little bit short. But, um, well, definitely, I know that one definitely is. So we've got that side up there to run up with step flashing. Just walk around to the other side to see what's going on. It's nice though, there's no sort of like little gutters or anything in the way, so it's nice and straightforward. Um, around here, yeah, exactly the same. Oh, nice. Nice one, okay. So yeah, that's pretty much chased out as well. I, I, again, I, I do feel that these bottom ones are gonna be a little bit short. So we've just got a step flashing to run up on both sides and there'll just be a, a ridge saddle there at the top. Um, it looks like it's gonna be a lovely day today. It's a little bit more cloud cover today than what there, what there was yesterday. Yesterday was absolutely boiling here in the UK. Um, I think it's like 32 in London, which for um, for, for Brighton and England is, um, is pretty good. <laughs> um, look at that lovely, lovely bit of timber right there. Wow, I think something else, doesn't it? Right, so we'll get some um, we'll get some gear up here. And start making up some step flashings. Okay, so as you can see, we have got a slight kick in the bottom of this of this roof. Um, so what I've done here is I've just cut a piece of lead, um, 1.5 meters of 150, and I've literally just pushed it down so it's touching the tiles and what we're going to do now we're just going to dress that against the bricks to take out all of this corrugation it's mainly just this middle bit here that's really kicking out get a plate behind that just get a rubber mallet and just dress that Same again on the, on the top bit there, get a plate behind there. Taking the shape of the roof now. Pull that away. Cool, right. So, what we're going to do now is we've got a level here, and I've already scribed an 80mm line down on this lead, a water line. We're just literally going to get the level on top of the brick there. Make sure it's level and take it back to the water line. So let's do that on all of these steps.
yeah, I can see now that some of these joints haven't been taken out enough, unfortunately. We'll have to take a little bit out by hand, I think. It's not too bad. It looks like towards the top it's, it's better. It's just mainly these bottom, bottom few here, I can see starting from about there. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, yeah. So, so there is a few that we will have to uh, take out a little bit more. Probably this one here as well underneath underneath this tray. Right, that's that bottom section done. all those steps marked now what we're going to do now is I'm just going to put a little line on the mortar joint so I know how far I need to cut this out that's it right, and that is the first bit ready to be cut okay so we've now brought this piece of lead down and we've put it on this bench here and you can see the the curve in that now when it's against the sh against the straight scaffold board um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get some snips and we're going to cut in from point to point where we've where we've marked the top of that brick there to where we've marked the other top of the brick that corner there it's just going to that's going to create our diagonal so what we're going to do we're going to cut down all of those steps and then we just need to make sure from above the top of the brick line we leave an extra 25 mil on and that's going to be that's going to get turned into the joint so i'm going to get this made up now Okay, so when you've done that, hopefully you'll end up with something looking a bit pretty similar to this. So now that this is all knocked up, we just go over there and now we take out those bottom joints and then we can fit this piece of lead. Okay, so we've just offered this up now. It's gone up pretty nicely. So what we can do now is just wedge all this in. We've got some hole clips on this one, uh, so we've been spoiled. Um, don't always get these. Sometimes they don't work because the joints are too big. Like for example, that one there, I've had to put a lead wedge in that one because the joints are too big for the whole clip to work properly. But the rest of these, <laughs> just saying that, that one there as well. Um, but apart from that, I should be okay with, uh, with some whole clips. I'll speed up the process. Just run a few of these in on every step. I wasn't expecting rain today, it's just starting to rain, would you believe? So we'll just get a lead one for that. So that's that section in now. Um, and then we'll just sort of work our way up there now, um, just re repeating the process. Okay, so that's that first side all in now. I'm not gonna worry about oiling it at the moment. I'm gonna get the other side in first and then we'll, we'll oil it right at the very end. So uh, we we'll just repeat the process now on the other side. Okay, so that's that side in as well now. So the only thing left to do now is to look at this ridge saddle now then there's already a chase in here I'm just wondering if I might step up to one course above um, I'll put the, uh, the the ridge through there and just see what height that's sitting and then we'll go from there okay so just doing this ridge saddle now what I've decided to do is to do this in two sections so what I've done is I've just got a bit of 150 and I've bent like 10 mil on it and I've bent a 20, 25 mil water check as well, and I've just bent that to the to all the angles that we need. 
And then I've just got this other bit of lead here, which I've cut separately. I'm just gonna butt them both together. And what we'll do is I'm just gonna tack that into place in a minute. And then we'll bring that down onto the bench and we'll weld that up. Okay, so that's ready for welding up now. So as you can see, what I've done is I've got a shaver there and I've just cleaned up the two edges to be welded. Just taken off the surface there. Also, I've got some sticks already cut here, which I've done the same too. I've, I've taken all the surface off those as well. So let's get this welded up now. Another good thing about doing it this way around is you, you don't end up with, vis with, with a visible weld because if you cut it straight in like that, you can end up with like a V weld that you can see. The time this has been bridged, it's going to cover the majority of that weld up, which is quite nice. Okay, so there you have it, that's ready for um, for fitting now. I've just turned where it was going into the brick joint, so we'll, we'll take that joint out and get that fitted. Okay, so that's that ridge saddle fitted now. And I've just oiled this lid as well, so we are job done. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can check me out on Instagram at SLB Leadworks. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hopefully catch you in the next. Cheers.